Hi there, this is Chris, and in this video we are going to look at the file system for the Myth Computers, which happens to be uh, simply a tree, just like you would have learned in CS106B, uh, the tree that has uh, a root and has all these children, and the children are files and directories and so forth, and that's how the file system is built. And we're going to take a quick look at this and see a couple different uh, uh, ways of looking at it. Um, but in other videos like the CD change directory and the LS list directory videos, you can see more details about how you actually navigate the tree. Uh, but we're going to take a look at this. So I have to be logged on to the myth system. And I have a folder called CS107. And in that folder, I have an assignments folder. Uh, which I just kind of made up. And if I type the command tree assignments, then what it does is it lists all the uh, folders and uh, directories and files underneath the assignments. So as you can see, assignments here has one child, two children, three, four, five, six, seven different children. Uh, their files and directories. And um, some of them have multiple files in them. Some have a file folder with another file in them. So a direct so assignment one here has a bunch of children called file one, file two dot txt folder one and folder two, and then folder one has a child called my program. So that's really the structure of the the system here. Um, you can actually type another command tree dash f, which will give you a little bit. Whoops, tree dash f assignments, which will give you a little bit more information about that. Uh, and in this case, it gives you uh, some little trailing characters at the end of some of the names. Uh, if it if a name ends with a slash, it means it's a directory. If a name ends with a asterisk, it actually means that it is uh, executable or runnable. Uh, it's an app of some sort. And we're actually going to try that out in a minute. And then uh, all the other files, all the other names are just files. Um, in fact, you can look at the tilde one here. This is not has nothing to do with the file system, it's just the name of the file hello.c tilde, which is a backup file that um, some editors like Vim uh, create. So that's, uh, that's the tree structure. If you uh, wanted to go to the actual root of the tree, that's the slash file, and if you look at this, there's, there's all these um, uh, files, you may not have any idea what they mean, but they are uh, this is the root of the root of the entire file system, and you only have access to certain parts of the file system. But it's pretty big. It's uh, we're talking like thousands of people at Stanford on this one file system. So it's a gigantic file system. Okay, uh, I'll actually go back to my uh, my regular working directory, which is part of this is where my directory lives on the file system. And uh, there's a main directory, and then subdirectory, 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 and then my sub my directory. And uh, if you uh, if you're in your directory, you actually have access to all the files in your directory. Okay, so let's actually take a look again at CS107 and then assignments here, and we can actually do an ls. And this ls is list files. This is actually just shows you all the files. Um, but again, if you want to see uh, more details, you can type tree and get all the, the details there. You can type tree-f and get more details. Or you can do ls-l, which, which you'll see in the ls uh, uh, one, uh, the ls video as well. Uh, there's two specific files. If we actually do ls-al, there's two specific files here which are important for the file system. Uh, the first one is the dot. And dot is just a... Uh, the name for the current directory. So whatever current directory you're in, that is the dot directory. Okay? The dot dot directory is your parent directory. Okay? So if we go back, let's go back to CS107, and if we do ls, there's two, two files in here, assignments and old. They both have to be folders. And by the way, ls also has a dash f to give you a little more information, dash uppercase f. And uh, there's two folders in here. If we go into assignments and we do ls-al, notice that we've got dot and dot dot. If we do ls dot dot, that means give us a directory of our parent, which was C which is CS107. 
And guess what? If we do that, it's assignments and old because it's a, the we are the assignments folder and the one above is CS107. So that's what dot dot means. Now, why do you care about the parent directory or the current directory? Well, it's useful when you talk about relative paths, which is also another video uh, that you can look in. Okay, uh, we also use the, the current directory in a very specific way. Uh, let's see, if we do tree again, and if we go into assignment zero, and in here we've got a bunch of uh, things. Notice that we have the hello program. Okay, this is just a uh, program that I wrote that says hello world. And because it has the X, before it had an asterisk, but because it has an X on here, it means that we can execute it and it's a runnable app. And instead of just saying hello, which will say uh, the program hello cannot be found, uh, then you could have them try to install it, but it's not currently installed. But we have a hello here. Well, how do you actually run that? You type dot slash hello. And that says run the hello program in my current directory. And that you will use this command a billion times in CS107. But anyway, you run dot slash hello and it says, okay, I know exactly where that file is and that's the one I'm going to run. And in the uh, video on paths, you can uh, see how to actually modify things so that your path is, is uh, where it can find certain files a little bit easier if you, if you really want to. But anyway, the dot is just the ls dot would be the same as just saying ls because it's the same directory, but it gives you a way to refer to your own directory uh, explicitly. So that's that. That's uh, the file system is a is a tree, and you will uh, become very familiar with that tree as you go through CS one hundred and seven. Thanks.